First at nine, a local ballerina who is considered one of the best is receiving an opportunity of a lifetime. Get this, she's just 15 and already turning heads and showing others how it's done. Our Jake Stancil joins us now in the studio with her story. Jake, she showed you a couple of things too, huh? Yeah, showed me the good old plie. I think I got <laughs> it. There we go. <laughs> Come meet Megan Gatowski. She was first introduced to dance at the age of three, but after her first ballet class, she came home and told her mom, yeah, I don't know if this is for me, but her mom said, look, I already paid for the class, so you got to stick with it. And 12 years later, this 15 year old is quickly becoming one of the best ballerinas in the country. When you love what you do and you're passionate about what you do, it's not work. This is where you can find Megan Gatowski at work. And this is what she does. She expresses herself through dance. It's her second home is the studio. If she's not at school, she's here. What would you say motivates you? Probably my little self. Like, she would never give up and she wouldn't want to give up now, especially in the hard times. There was a brief moment where that little self almost gave up. With a little help from mom, this 15-year-old ballerina is still crossing those ribbons over her ballet shoes and still dancing. I'm amazed. She's auditioned for numerous places around the country, and she was accepted to pretty much all of the places that she auditioned for. Did you know it right away when you yes. saw her dance? Yes, well, when I saw her body and I saw what she was capable of doing, she was very raw, unrefined, and I was like, there's a lot of raw talent here that can be developed. Developed into awards, universal ballet competitions. One competition in Houston where out of more than 700 entries from the ages of 15 to 21, Megan won the whole thing. It seems like at 15 years old, you're not scared of anything. No, just maybe the seconds right before going on stage, but besides that, I'm pretty good. And she's only just heating up. <laughs> All right, Megan, so as far as landing that perfect spin, how, how do you make sure that you do just that? Um, whenever you're on point, you need to roll through your foot and come down. And whenever you're in passe, you need to lift your knee to come down and just, like, just stick it with your arms and everything. And then just spin? <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. London, that, here we come. That was, yeah, that was good. <laughs> okay. That's right, the home of Big Ben is calling. Megan will dance with the London Royal Ballet this summer. They choose students from across the world, so it's not just the United States, it's not just, you know, the UK, it's everywhere. Thousands and thousands auditioned for a chance like this, but only a couple hundred are selected. And no one you know has had the chance to do what Megan's about to do. No, none. You might think that's a lot of pressure for a 15 year old. I buckle under pressure. I don't want to be the center of attention. She seems to thrive on the stage. I just try to think about what's gotten me here and how hard I've worked for it. Even with all the attention on her. She'll go on stage and all of a sudden everyone is stopped and watching what she's doing. She's still one with the stage. And just have fun and not let it always be a competition. Now imagine doing those spins <laughs> a couple of times as part of four to five hours a day, about seven days a week. I mean, that's landed and making an opportunity to go to London, plenty of scholarships across the country and much more to come, guys.